What is up, Fence Fam? Joe Everest, the fence expert. Now, earlier this year, we shared with you guys a video, a reaction video of a no dig fence post removal hack. And it was generally well received. Now, in the comments, I saw several questions about how a fence professional would remove that fence post. And then also, there were quite a few uh, suggestions given on how you guys would like to see the fence post pulled out. So, what we've done is we've set up a little demonstration for you guys. We've got two of the most common ways that we as fencing professionals remove these posts. And also we got uh, the user suggested video. We've got, uh, we're gonna use a tire, uh, just an automotive tire with a chain over the tire. Now we've got a forklift here. The suggestion was you hook it up to the back of your truck. Now I've seen enough YouTube videos go bad where that chain ends up through the back window into the cab of the truck we're not looking to recreate that video. So we've hooked it up to our, our forklift here. We're gonna yank this thing out with only a tire. Now, YouTube safety squad is a very real thing. I hear you guys. You're wanting to make sure we stay safe to keep making videos for years to come. So we've got our safety gloves. We got our safety goggles. We got our hard hats. Safety squad, if you see something I'm doing wrong and I need something else, another piece of protective equipment, let me know. I'm here for you guys. With all that being said, let's get into this. But first, if you find this content helpful, educational, heck, even a little entertaining, go ahead and give it a like. It's a free way of supporting the channel. Also, 94% of the folks that watch our videos aren't subscribed to the channel. That means you watching this right now are likely not subscribed. Be sure to look right below this video. If that button is red, hit subscribe. And when you do, click that bell so that YouTube lets you know each and every week when we have new content available. All that being said, let's pull some posts. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family's been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. All right, so the first option is what they call the Eco Post Puller. And I found this thing at a fence tech Gosh, I bet it's been four or five years ago, quite a while. I mean, the gist of it is it's a heavy duty dolly built to pull this post up out of the ground. Now the benefit is it's a dolly. So when you pick this post up out of the ground, you can take it right over to the trailer. If you got ramps on your trailer, you can take it right up the trailer. We don't use this all the time. We'd use this like on a repair where we're not gonna have another piece of equipment out in the yard. If we're pulling out one or two posts, they're going in the same hole, rather than get the equipment out, get it in the yard, we're gonna bring this dolly out, remove the couple posts. Now it's got a high lift jack on it. Now the thing about high lift jacks that you guys picked up on on the last video, you're gonna to wanna to watch, you're gonna to wanna to watch your lever here. Uh, it's got a lot, it can have a lot of kick on it, right? So you gotta be ready, always be ready for whatever you're using to fail. Have a plan for when it fails. Uh, but without further ado, this is kind of the gist of it. So it's just working it up ever so slightly. We've already broke, broken the ground tension. It's coming up quite a bit easier now. So we kind of looked out. This post didn't have a lot of concrete on it. Obviously not installed by us, right? But the, the gist of it's the same. So it's got the cut out there so that the post did have a significant amount of concrete around it. It would uh, carry that weight pretty easily. I think we got the post just about out of the ground. So now we can just pull the post out, making sure that we know exactly where the top of that post is so it doesn't catch us on the top of the head. Yep, and then we're uh, ready to go. So this lever actually will remove from the, from the uh, attachment point. That way you could just run this thing out like a dolly. Uh, typically, we would have a bungee cord that just bungees this in place. Method one of getting a fence post out of the ground like a fencing professional. Now, on probably 90% of our residential projects, we're going to have a mini skid loader there anyway. We always make sure we keep forks on the truck. That way, when ready to pull posts, it's as simple as wrapping a chain, pulling the post. Now, this method has a similar benefit as the last method to when we pull this thing up. It's as easy as bringing it straight to the trailer. No more hauling around post with concrete on the end of them. To each their own, but when I'm chaining one of these posts up, I like to chain it to the bottom most or the lowest point of whatever I'm attaching it to. 
I like to wrap it three, four times and then chain it back to itself. Now, since we're chaining it low to a low piece on, you know, on this case, it's the forks, but whatever you're attaching it to, you need to remember there's a good chance the top of this post is gonna kick back. We're obviously far enough back that that's not gonna make a big issue. Also, it should hit this guard before it does any, any sort of damage. But again, plan for the failure so that when it does happen, you're ready for it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen. Now, without further ado, let's get this post up. Just like that. Kind of exciting. All right, so our third scenario is more of a viewer suggested option, I guess you'd say. It came up multiple times in the comment section that you should just use a wheel or a tire with a chain wrapped over it and I'll pull the post out. The theory is sound, right? So your chain is still wrapped around the base. As it curves over the wheel, it's actually helping it pull that for or direct that force upward. And uh, yeah, you pulled the post out. Now where this could go wrong is either your chain connections come undone, you know, or a chain breaks and this chain comes up in the cab with you. Also this wheel, I could see this wheel slipping pretty easily, but maybe not, we'll see. Uh, really the big thing is that I'd be concerned about is that this chain, if it were longer, hooked to a vehicle, comes undone and that chain comes up into the cab with you. We're using, a, we're using a forklift this time because I don't really want to put one of our uh, company trucks in line of danger that I know is pretty present. But you guys suggested it, so see what happens. So it obviously worked, right? Now, the wheel came and followed us down the hill. Like I said, you've got a real, depending on how high your attachment point is, I think there's a real chance that you lose track of that wheel and it comes out. Uh, if our truck was backed up to this post, the post would now be into our bed. But uh, if it's the option you got, it's the option you got. I just, I would really use this scenario as a worst case scenario, a last ditch effort to get this post out. I'd rather see you guys pull this post up safely without damage to equipment or even yourself. Well guys, that's really it. You got two ways that a fencing professional would remove fence posts and the viewer suggested option. If you guys have a different way of removing posts that you think I should know about and possibly review, let me know in the comments below. I always like hearing from you guys. But for now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. I'll see you guys next time.